This is a steampunk, steam-powered grandfather clock, high precision. Give you a brief tour of it. The rod you see in front of you, arrayed like a pipe organ or maybe a steam calliope, are tuned and are tuned to a C major scale. Included is an F sharp, allowing tunes in the G uh, key of G to be played. Going on down on the right front of this device is a boiler, which is powered, as you can see it flickering below, by radioactive waste and other toxic materials. This in turn feeds, via the turbo encabulator, a steam engine, which you see there in the front. This, in turn, the steam engine runs a compressor or generator, which provides power and compressed air to the copper manifold that you see also provides power to the machinery underneath behind the white picket fence. On the left we have our standby operator. Although this is totally reliable and fully automatic, he's there to just in case. Beside the union guys say we have to have one. Got a little extra fuel sitting there. Uh, moving on around to the side, we look down and we see a row of brass things that look sort of like, uh, I'm not sure what they look like, birds with long skinny beaks posed, poised in front of the, uh, the bongers. These are called the bonkers and their duty is to rise up and strike these rods creating the melody, creating the tone, creating the charms or anything else that has been programmed into this device. The control is done by a microprocessor located underneath and behind the picket fence. This controls the action of the generator, of the steam engine, of the air compressor, regulates the amount of power being put out by the radioactive waste. Now we have coming up now on 5 o'clock and I'm going to demonstrate this by moving the hour hand forward and allowing the 5 p.m. strike or the 5 o'clock strike to occur and show you the action of the bonkers against the bongers. The compressed air engine, the steam engine, runs compressing the air and activating the generator. The bonkers are now moving, striking the rods producing the tower. Now comes the strike for five o'clock. And that is the operation. Now the steam engine will continue to run just momentarily for cleanup power and also to remove any uh, condensation from the compressed air system. This constitutes the a walkthrough of the steam-powered steampunk grandfather clock.